Let's talk about gratitude. I am a very fortunate guy, and I'm grateful for it. And, and the reason I'm thinking of this today is uh, within the last year or so, my wife and I, much at my prompting, moved from uh, a small town, but we, you know, third or quarter acre lots in our subdivision and, you know, lots of neighbors and, and such. We moved from there into rural countryside. And a big part of the reason was my desire to get away from people. It just seems like I'm always getting text messages and emails and telegram messages and signal messages. And, and I'm just uh, kind of have stopped for the most part phone calls because I hate them so much. Most people now respect that. But I've just been getting so much contact with people over the last five or 10 years that uh, I'm just sick of it. I just, I want to be alone. I, I don't want to have a friendly chat about what I did yesterday with somebody. I, I just, I don't care. And so I'm now I'm thinking, and this is why the gratitude comes about, I'm thinking about all the lonely people out there. And I'm thinking about how I might be in three years or 10 years or 20 years when my values change and they're constantly, they're subjective. So values constantly change. Perhaps in 20 years, I'm going to be a little old man, lonely as can be, no friends. Uh, and I just wish that some human being would show me love and respect and say hi to me. Um, and give me a call or a text message. And and I think about my mother. I think about my mother. She lived her last years in horrible arthritis pain in a little studio apartment in Cottonwood, Arizona. She was stuck inside for much of the year because of the heat outside. She didn't have much of a life. She was a I wouldn't say a deep, deep thinker, but she did like thinking and learning about psychology and why did people think different ways? And, and she enjoyed reading about Japanese architecture and dreaming about had she chosen a financially fruitful lifestyle, you know, what she could have had. And, uh, but she was lonely. And because I hate phone calls so much, I couldn't be bothered to call her more than once every month or two just for a friendly chat. And I hated every minute of it. Like the only reason I did it as rarely as I did, shame on me, was because she needed it or wanted it emotionally. I did not have that emotional need. And I don't know if it's, maybe I'm somewhere on the Ashburgers or uh, the, the, what's the other thing, Spectrum. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm somewhere on there that I don't have that need at this point in my life or for the last 10 or 20 years for that close interpersonal contact of just chatting with a friend for fun. Um, but despite not having a deep desire for this, I have it in my life. And there are probably millions or billions of very lonely people who are just uh, astounded that I would not relish every second of another human being wanting to converse with me, be in my life, share joys and sorrows and, and life. Um, I, I am so fortunate to have this, even though it's not a current high value to me. Um, it, it is a high value to many humans and I could be there someday. And so I think about all of the little things in my life that I take for granted and I should have more gratitude. And I wonder if in your life, I've given the example of friendships relationships. I wonder if in your life, if you have those areas also, do are you perhaps able to play a guitar better than most people um, because you have the aptitude and you spent the time practicing and learning um, and now you're, you're good at that, but you just kind of take it for granted. Well, yeah, anybody can sit down and play five songs. Well, no, they can't. That's pretty darn impressive. I'm jealous of you. 
I don't have the aptitude uh, to, to sit down and do the 100 hours of study necessary to do it. Or in my case, the lack of aptitude would require me to do two or 3,000 hours worth of work to get to that same level. And I'm jealous of the person who can learn a tune quickly, who can play a guitar or a harmonica or, or a, if they're really bright, a banjo. I'm jealous of those folks. And there are folks who are jealous of me. What is your thing? What is your thing or things that you just have in abundance in your life? Could it be that your mom and dad did well financially? Or perhaps their parents or their parents did and, and it's trickled on down and, and you have the comfort of being able to buy nice things that you like. And you kind of take it for granted that, well, yeah, of course I get a new car at least every year or three years. Well, doesn't everybody? I didn't even think about it. Well, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, for me, I'm not in horrible financial condition, but uh, I'm frugal and I'm driving an old 2004 pickup truck. That's my that's my daily driver. Uh, I have uh, I have some toys that are old. Uh, my toys are over 20 years old. My motorcycle, my ATVs, my snow machine. Well, what was I just saying? I've, I've got all these toys. There are billions of people who would just love to have either a motorcycle or an old snow machine or an old ATV. And and for me, I'm like, well, they're really old, so it's not much. Well, no, I should feel so much gratitude. I should be so grateful for those things that I have. I, I have, uh, I think once I was going to, uh, oh, to France and I flew first class. I was, I think I just asked nicely at the desk. This was back in the day, over 20 years ago, back when you could just ask nicely, hey, is there any chance I could have a free upgrade? And and perhaps the person would give it to you. And I, I got that free upgrade for, for a stretch. And that was incredible, flying first class. Well, a lot of people wouldn't even dream of flying first class. I shouldn't say a lot, but a few million. Eh, not even that many. Maybe 100,000 people wouldn't even dream of flying first class. Because why wouldn't you just take your own plane? Or why wouldn't you use net jets? And those people probably don't have a ton of gratitude for that. Some of them do, but there are probably a lot of people that just haven't even thought about it. And if they did think about it, they would say, yeah, as a matter of fact, I am very grateful for this. I do have gratitude. But I guess what I'm kind of encouraging myself to do, and perhaps you as well, is to think about all the little things in your life that, that go well. The fact that you could even travel in your own automobile 50 miles away to visit a friend. Like, Throughout human history, how many people have been able to do that on a whim for an evening? Like, that's a big deal. What are the little things that we might be smart to feel gratitude for? So um, I, I guess that was just my little thought for the day. I, I'm going to stop recording now, and I'm going to actually take a few minutes, and I'm going to think about all the little things that I don't even think about, that I, I don't normally think about or focus on but that perhaps I should, and I'm going to feel some gratitude for those things. What about you?